Hey everybody, I am back again with another tour review. This time it is the Jack Specific Sonic the Hedgehog uh, 2.5 Neutron figure. Uh, this is from the Classic line. Um, they do have multiple lines going on now at this point, um, which is fantastic because I really love these uh, Classic figures a lot. Um, also in this wave is uh, Modern Knuckles, Modern Amy, um, Modern Shadow, and Classic Sonic getting a Chili Dog. Um, many of these are re-releases, uh, Neutron, who we have here, and Amy, who I reviewed the other day, um, are the new figures in this wave. Um, I'm going to take them out, see what he does. I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this guy, but, um, sometimes Jacks surprise me with the articulation and stuff they fit into these little guys, so, we'll see. Oh, wait, it's here. Oh, and he is strapped in. So I will grab my handy dandy. That's a bit. I see him from his plastic prison. Hopefully, I don't. There we go. I'll try this at home, kids. <laughs> All right. There we go. There's the Neutron doing the Neutron dance. All right. Let's see. Oh, well, so that's interesting right off the bat. I love it. The tail moves all the way around. There you go. And it's a um, softer plastic. So that is very nice. Very cool. Um, it's like plugged in there. It's interesting. Uh, it's interesting to note, this is quite different for these uh, figures. He has a screw in his belly. So he really is a robot. <laughs> um, oh, very cool. He has like a ball jointed neck. Ooh, very cool. I love it. Nice move jacks on that. Love that. Love that. Very cool. This works really good. Um, the only thing I could really probably ask more is if he had a uh, hinge jaw, would have made it even cooler, or if the eyes were articulated so they could like rotate around. But, uh, Hey, I don't want to ask too much here. <laughs> um, so the legs look like they're pegged in there. So okay, let me move the legs a little bit. Oh, uh, straight here. So you see the line here on this figure. And it goes around to where the legs are. So I think that's what the bolt is for. So they have all of these in here. Um, and all the legs do move. They're one solid piece. Um, the feet are articulated. There's no other bits of articulation here at all. Um, paint's not too bad. All of the green paint is really well done on the tail. On both sides. Nothing to really complain about there. <laughs> um, little, little sloppy around the eyes. Um, nothing too, too bad though. Um, this little mohawk on his head that's painted pretty well and that's actually done in a uh, a glossy paint whereas the rest of the paint on the body is a uh, matte paint the mouth is painted pretty well too it's probably hard to see but it's a like a medium dark gray color um the pupils are painted very well very spot on <laughs> Um, so there's that. Um, like the fit on the back though is a little sloppy. It definitely could have been painted better. It's a little, little off level there. I might have to touch that myself. I, that, that's actually a, a glossy, a light gray paint. Um, and the neck that's on the inside, the uh, gray piece of the neck is actually a separate piece of plastic that's inside the body. So I'm surprised they didn't do this in a separate piece of plastic as well. Because um, it would have saved them from having to paint it. Um, but it's very nice. I like him. He's definitely a nice addition to the Badnik. So I want to see how well he stands on his own. Yeah. He doesn't have really any real trouble or anything. I don't know how many kind of things you can do here. I don't know if you can really get him to stand up. I mean, the tail is kind of in the way there. Um, not a whole lot you could do with them, to be honest. The front legs go out pretty far, but the back ones kind of 
could stop there and the tail kind of stops it. I wonder if you can make them do a handstand. <laughs> can do that. Anyways, okay, probably be uh, the best bet to keep it on all four. So there it is. So I'm going to bring in the other um, badniks that we've received so far from Jax. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. Um, I'm going to bring them in an order that they've been released. Um, first off is Motobug. It's a very nice little, I don't know where his little stamp is at, somewhere in my collection. <laughs> um, and then uh, Buzz Bomber, who is a personal favorite of mine. I'm going to zoom out here because there's a lot of these little guys now. Uh, crab meat. Um, it's another very cool one. I'm going to keep. Uh, That'd be tough now. <laughs> got too many. Uh, let me get some stuff out there. Got to move back again. All right, so that after Kirby it was a uh, chopper. Chopper. One for the chopper. Okay, so then um, Rhinobot came out around the same time. I'm really going to have to. There we go. That's a little better. And last but not least, uh, before Neutron, was uh, Burrowbot. It was very, very cool as well. So, there are all of the badniks that we have so far that have been released by Jax. Um, these obviously are all the 2.5 inch. Um, they really haven't released these in larger size, but I don't really feel like they need to because they fit pretty well um, with the 5 inch line that they make as well. So, I mean, hey, you know what? If they want to release them in larger scale, go for it. Because <laughs> they are really fantastic. They're really doing a, a great job with the Sonic line. Um, I don't know if this has really ever released stuff like this before. So, it's definitely a welcome addition to the collection. But that is about it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good one.